Welcome back, y'all. This is Terry from Texas. I'm coming to y'all with a coupon haul and a really stinking good deal. Um, I am on this group and I am loving it. The Create Your Own Economy the, um, on Facebook. I just, they are the creator of the group. She is all about teaching us how to do stuff. Or the others in the group are showing us like deals and stuff that we can make our own money and basically make our in own income. And it's a really good deal. But anyway, so first the coupon haul. Okay, so y'all know there's this, and I don't have, I don't have one on me because it's in my purse. There was this really good coupon that came out in last week's paper. I think it was the smart, smart, uh, smart source. It was a ten dollar off any three Bayer. Aleve 40 counter higher, the Aleve PM, Midol, Alka Seltzer, True Biotics, um, and a couple other products. Everybody and their mother that coupons or just found out about this coupon did this deal numerous times. Um, when it first came out, I only had one coupon, but I hesitated because I was waiting on the other coupons because I, um, I traded for some coupons and, um, I should have went ahead and just did the deal at least once because there is no Bayer to be found. And here is the deal. The deal was, uh, the coupon expired today. I am told that um, some targets will take it seven days after the date. So that would be like by the 18th. Don't know for sure. Haven't tried it. Your mileage is going to vary on that. So the deal is, if you did it at Walmart, the Bayer, which these are not, these are the chewable ones, but there's also a low dose and then a back and body one. They are 36 tablets. They are at Walmart, 217. So if you managed to get three of those, it was giving you roughly like almost $4 in overage, which at Walmart, if you coupon, you know that overage goes towards your basket. Now it does say in their policy that they can give you money back. I have not found a Walmart that does that and most couponers don't like to do that because then they kind of like to like think you're doing false advertisement and couponing is already a hard enough game as it is with all the restrictions so it's good to use that three to four dollars for overage on stuff. Um, however, it is sold out in a lot of places. I know a lot of people last week were also doing it at Walgreens because they had the deal. If you bought one, the second was fifty percent off, and then I think it was either fifteen dollars or twenty dollars that you had to purchase the total purchase of your Bayer products or whatever you wanted to use for that coupon. Um, if you spent 20 then you got $6 back, and then a lot of people were just rolling that $6 register reward. Those are all done deals. Those are all last week. Um, I went yesterday to my local Walmart. Couldn't find any. Um, went to my HEB and couldn't find any. And the same thing with HEB. There also were two seventeen, And um, I think people were saying that overages also went towards your basket at HEB. But I couldn't find any. Well, I had to run into Austin tonight. And um, I went to one, two Walmarts on my way. And uh, one had nothing. And uh, I was kind of pricing the items. And there are some other lower products. Like, um, no, I don't know if anybody realized because I never saw anybody doing this. Um, but there was actually a Camphonique cold sore medicine that was like three ninety eight that you could have used too. So, I mean, if you got that, plus if you got, like, one Bayer and then, like, another, either that or something else, it would have been about ten twenty four. So, just a little bit. Which, hey, come on, 24 cents for high-dollar products? I mean, that's a good deal. So, what I did at the second Walmart, because I do use these, um... I went ahead and got three of the my dolls. Now these are three seventy three, so you would have been spending eleven nineteen for three my dolls. Well, I only actually my boyfriend did. He bought these for me. He uh, pulled a sixty three hour shift from Thursday to Sunday, so his paycheck was good. So he bought these for me. So instead of these being eleven nineteen, um, 
he only paid a one a dollar nineteen cents. So that's one thing. And I knew when I went into this Walmart that as soon as I went down the Bayer aisle, somebody had apparently done tried doing this deal at Walmart because there's like six coupons just laying on the shelf, and I was like, hmm, yeah. And then I stopped at the CVS, and they had none there because they also do overage towards your basket. Um, Walgreens was right next door, and I went to Walgreens, and they had three of them. Theirs are two ninety eight, so I managed to find one of these cherry chewables. Actually, I got two of those, and then um, a chewable orange. Now, I will do the cherry, the orange. I will probably give to my grandpa because he has to take Bayer every day. And then, OMG, I found two fish bowls. Um, I only took half of one, and I put the rest back. So, I got a dozen of these Revo lip balms. These are originally $2.99. And they were 70% off, so they were $0.29. Cents. Um, the silver one is sugar cookie. And I had already gotten a green one, which was chocolate mint. Was not a fan of that one. And then I would already gotten one um, sugar cookie. But I hadn't seen these other flavors. And they actually had all the flavors. I didn't get any more of the chocolate mint. And I didn't get the gold one, which was gingerbread. I was just like, What? But the blue is French Vanilla Snowflake. I got five of those and two more sugar cookies. And then I got four of these Sweet Sugar Plum. And just because I'm from Texas, I don't like red velvet cake. I don't know. I know it's like a big deal in the South. Um, but I don't like it. But I was curious to see what this one was like. The red is red velvet. So I got a dozen of those. And Walgreens does not do overage to the coupon. I actually had to call the manager over because the cashier was trying to tell me, oh, it's not going to take it, it's not going to take it. I was like, yes, it will. Yes, it will. You have to price adjust it down to eight ninety seven, which is the total for the Bayer. So that's what the manager did was adjusted the coupon down to eight ninety seven, And then I only paid three forty eight out of pocket for um, three Bayer and 12 of the Revos when that's a good deal because that's probably what one Revo would have been with tax almost probably so that was a good deal and because I like these fish bowls and I don't really have anywhere to store these um I'd asked her if I could just combine what I didn't take from the other one and um take this one with me I really wish they would have had a lid but they didn't because you know once you open them they throw them away um and I'm looking at this and yeah, I pretty much have every sit now is set for a gingerbread latte. So, which is fine with me. So yeah, and there you can see $2.99. Okay, so, Milo, three of those for $1.19. Three Bayer, 12 Revos for $3.48. Not a bad deal. Now, in this Facebook group, they post deals all the time about Walmart and um, CVS and Dollar General and all these different stores about how they find amazing deals. So, this deal is, let me put it over here where it's in the light. These backpacks that have this red tag, $3.97, and what I'm thinking they are, are from last year's um, back to school stuff, because one of them had this back to school special tag on it. And you're not going to be able to see it, but it does have 2014 on there. So, I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure these are last year's. But anyways, you're going to look for this tag. This red 397 tag. If it has that on it, these should ring up a dollar. Now, your mileage is going to vary because I know coupon to provide. I am a big YouTube fan of hers. I do her Instagram. She does wonderful couponing deals. She has find, found binders before that I have found the exact same thing in my Walmart. And it's not what she found. Your Walmart, I used to work for Walmart. It depends on what kind of money that they have to be able to roll back these products. If your store isn't doing so well, they may not have that kind of money to put this stuff on the cleaners. Especially if it's a newer store. And that's what my store is. It, my store is barely if it's even a year old. I don't even think it's a year old until March. So... Look for the red tags, 397 
they're going to be a dollar. Check the scanners to make sure. Now there are other patterns out there that people are finding. I found the, the owls. That was the only girl one I found. People are finding butterflies and hearts. I found one army, one shark, and somebody said there's a dolphin one out there, but I have a funny feeling this is what they're talking about. So I got six. There was probably about 40 to 50 of these. And then I got two of the flames. Now for the boys, there is a lovely construction one. I wish I could have found that one. Somebody said there's a tiger print. And then something else. Oh, that's it. So there's about six to eight different prints. But what you're looking for is the $3.97 red tag. And they should ring up a dollar. So, and they're not very big backpacks. They are double, you know, double zip. And they're probably not the best quality. But for a dollar, go through two a day. Um, these would be good to fill up at the beginning of school for donations or whatever you want. So, check your coupons. There's some high dollar coupons again this week. I have my ads to go through. Um... Check Walgreens. I was kind of surprised this one still had clearance because the two where I am local have already packed up their Christmas. So, good deals to be all around. Thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to watching yours. Bye.